G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg and welcome back to my Minecraft channel. As I said last week, I would get some animals in this pen. I managed to get a few cows and a couple of sheep and things in here. So that's this bit here done. Um, I want to get up here and just check and see if the animals are still there. <laughs> Why do animals converge on the top of hills? I think they're, like, I've never seen it like that one back there before, but even this one here realistically has a lot of animals on it. Um, I've noticed it in the Craftworks one too, I, I think I said last week, that, that the pandas keep sort of aiming for the top of the hills, and I don't know why. Except sniffers, apparently. Apparently sniffers like to go down hills. Yeah, I, <laughs> I love this hill. I love how many animals are up here. It's all a bit crazy. You know what? Might not be a bad idea. I just... Just sort of coming over here, I had a bit of a look there at the at this bay over here i hmm let me have a bit of a better look hang on a sec actually that's a great idea that bay looks like the perfect place for something that'd be better off in a time lapse <laughs> see you in a second Okay, now, before we before I show you what I've done, so firstly, this is my new skin. I am Zinkalus, right? As in Legolas from, from Lord of the Rings, okay? Now, what you have to know and what I want to make very clear before I do any of what I'm about to do is that although I love Lord of the Rings, I am not a Lord of the Ring fanatic. So I don't want any comments down below that says, well, actually, Zinkberg, Legolas was a Sindar elf who joined the Fellowship of the Ring in the Third Age, the son of the Elven King, Thrandall of Mirkwood. I don't want any of that. <laughs> I'm just mucking around. <laughs> so, we got that clear? Good. Okay, so this is my new skin. Look, look, I've even got, like, little pointy ears. They look like those plastic Star Trek Spock ears that you used to get. So, that's me. I am Zinkalus. What I have done, and I've actually, just as I was doing this, I've just realized that there are all these holes up on this hill over here. This is the animal hill. Yeah, there are all these little holes here. These would make great little hobbit holes. So maybe I can throw all of this into one sort of, one sort of themed area, sort of to be a Lord of the Ringsy type thing, because I've got a tower up behind me. So, yeah, maybe we can do that. So my plan is, this is where it all starts, right? This is where I was sort of clearing all the trees and everything. So we're going to have a pathway that goes all the way along here. There'll be some, maybe some little buildings along the, the water's edge or something like that along here. Some stuff to make it feel, you know, elvish. And then we're going to come up here. Now, up here, this is what really inspired me, right, is this bay over here 
this bay sort of looks really cool and I can picture sort of an elvish boat or something like that in there and you know taking away some of these trees and making like a whole elvish city in this area so that'll be the plan that's what we're going to do now what have we done okay let's have a look over here because although I time lapse some of it I didn't time lapse all of it because some of it's just digging out dirt you know so we have here a little archway that you walk through this isn't necessarily going to stay here this archway behind me i just wanted to get an idea of um of sort of what it you know what it could look like what how these things could work i yeah i don't know i don't know i kind of like it but there's another part of me that kind of maybe doesn't so we'll have a look at that we'll we'll think about that i built a custom tree and i like the custom tree it feels a little squished, like it's a little squishy, but I'm okay with that too. So, so I kind of, yeah, I, I like that. I've put things like um, mushrooms around here. So I found mushrooms have a, a thing where you can't put them anywhere that's open to the sky. So you can only put them in certain places and under a certain light level and all this other stuff. There are all these rules for placing down mushrooms, apparently, that I didn't know about. Um, so there are a few mushrooms around here. I wanted to put some more around here and things. I can probably still do that. I could cover up the area and then put them down or whatever. We'll have a look at that. I've put this pathway around the outside, mainly because I love the sound of the packed mud um, and the dirt and things like that. And then we have this beautiful thing. This is like an elvish building. I don't know what sort of building it is, um, but it is, it's sort of got that elvish sort of archway look to it and things like that um i've gone yeah just gone with the warped wood just to give it a bit of color and things like that a little bit of the purple in here as well um and then inside here we've just got yeah it's very simple as i said it's like a town a townhousey sort of thing not it's not a town hall or anything it's just like a town sort of building where you would come in maybe a visitor's center maybe that's the word I'm looking for let me sleep okay so yeah so we've got like a, a little desk here and some furnaces to do some stuff a little bit of armor over here and you know some plants around there's a bed in the corner there um, little couch here with some books I've gone with the chiseled bookshelves and the regular bookshelves I just love these chiseled bookshelves so much I think they look fantastic a couple of pictures up over each one I, I just wanted pictures up so that I could know which one was which so I know that that's the front door because <laughs> it's a problem with a perfectly symmetrical room and having no memory is that you end up walking out the wrong one constantly but yeah so it's fairly simple just some little seats and tables and a little brewing stand over there there's nothing fancy about it um oh i have gone back to using blue nerds texture pack uh because i love these flowers so yeah that's that's why i've gone that way that also gives me the ability the ability the light gray stained glass panes have this appearance to them so they look like little windows there's a few other things that it does and it's mainly like a builder's texture pack um but yeah it's really pretty particularly if you put the shaders on so now let's have a look at it i think it looks really pretty i went with the soul lanterns because i wanted less light I didn't want to have massive amounts of light around this thing. Um, so yeah, so that's, this is what it looks like. This is the, this is the build. Just some cherry blossom flower leaves and things like that. And sort of gone with this three way mixture of leaves. Um, the oak leaves, the cherry blossoms and the, um, and the azalea leaves just to give us a bit of, a bit of difference. I like, I like a lot of things about this build and I, I think this will be a good sort of starting point for what we're going to do. Yeah, that's what we've done. We did quite a bit of terraforming. We put in this wall up around the back here, um, just gone mainly with a diorite sort of theme. It's meant to be white looking, but 
concrete doesn't have stairs, quartz looks a bit iffy, and I needed walls as well to give it a bit of 3D sort of look. Um, so that's why I've gone with the die rope. Bit of stone in here. I had sort of thought maybe making this like a like a walkthrough section, and I might still do that, but I don't know yet. I, I have a think about it. You know, I just had a thought. Let's just finish this off, and let's see if we can do this. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing at my thought. And then I also cleared half a mountain. <laughs> mountain doesn't start with F, but what I was going to say did. <laughs> and a bit over here. Actually, it was quite therapeutic. It was only about an hour and a half sort of uh, work here. Um, and we'll probably have like a building or two up here and some paths and some gardens and some, you know, well, let's, we'll start building a city. Now, what was I just thinking? Uh, so what I'm thinking is, what if I could find what looks like a ring in Minecraft? I think, I think I have an idea. So let me, let me go for a fly and see if I can find what I'm looking for. I think it is this way. Okay, wow. That was a lot further this way than I thought it was. <laughs> and this is the culprit. This is what we're looking for. All of this, just for a little gag. <laughs> Does that look like a little ring? Let's have a look. It kind of does. That'll do me. That's fine. I've just realized I have a pixel on my elbow. I don't know why. A little gray one. Okay. Um, so let's get back to the... <laughs> now I have to get back to the other place. So I'll see you there. Okay. <laughs> now, here is the thought that I've had. And the sun is setting. So, so this is perfect timing. Um... So we're going to picture, this is if Legolas stole the ring from Frodo, right? And he's got to get it to the tower to burn the ring, right? <laughs> That's what we're going to play out here. So <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> okay, so we're going to act out the Lord of the Rings all in three seconds. Okay, so... We need to get back to the tower. We'll start now. <laughs> we'll start now with the sun setting. Hopefully we don't encounter too many mobs, although I get the feeling we're going to get a few. We'll, we'll play that sunset will play a part in, in this. Oh, the, the weight of the ring is so heavy on me. Oh, I've got to get to the tower so I can burn the, burn the ring and then the world will be saved. This is, this is just like Lord of the Rings on the <laughs> spider, that's right. <laughs> Alright, spider, just leave me alone. This is the best way that this plays out, is if everybody just leaves me alone. <laughs> I, I'm surprised, oh no. Okay, a couple of creepers there, we're fine, we're fine. Sorry, orcs. No, I guess the orcs would be the zombies. Look, there's one. Oh no. The orcs are chasing us. This is exactly the area that I was worried about. This and coming across... Oh, there's a dolphin in the water. Oh, that one, there's a skeleton. Okay, we into the water. I'm sure there was a... This is the swimming part of Lord of the Rings. You know that swimming part where they swim? Oh, I don't have respiration. <laughs> That's fine. It's all fine. This is going exactly to plan. Exactly to plan. Okay, so we make it across the river. And where's the tower gone? <laughs> Why can't I see? Oh, I dropped my render distance down. <laughs> there it is. Oh, phew. Okay, we've got it. Oh, this is so... The, this ring is... Oh, it's destroying me. I, I can't... I don't know if I can make it. I wish... I keep I keep wanting to say Sam. <laughs> With Sam I wish Sam was here to carry the ring for me. The, yeah, see... <laughs> Oh no, I really can't afford to have, to take damage. Look, all right, this is actually going a lot better than I thought it would. Oh dear. Okay, 
Oh wait, of course, I'm Legolas, man. Oh, I can't, I can't take a lot of hits though. Uh oh, this could be bad. This could be bad. Dodging, weaving. Okay, we're just gonna run. We're not gonna hang around. Yep, you can't, you can't hit me. Legolas just losing his ability to shoot an arrow for anyone for a while. Okay, we've nearly made it to the tower where we're gonna burn the ring. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> he didn't burn the ring in the tower. He burned it in a volcano. I don't have a volcano. <laughs> I've got an arrow in my foot. Okay, let me... Um... Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. Okay. I've got an idea. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Put the ring in my hand. Take two because this is going to be far quicker than the last one was. So we're in the same scenario. Legolas has stolen the ring. <laughs> He's going to just... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's going to destroy it. So he remembers that there's a portal just over here from... <laughs> just right there, right next to the elven. Oh, I nearly fell down the thing. And ow! Oh, see how dangerous the ring is? Now, uh-oh, do we throw it in the fire or do we throw it in the lava? They threw it in lava, didn't they? So we're going to throw it in the lava. And, uh, there we go. <laughs> the end. And now, you have to sit through three hours of my character hugging other characters and being happy to see them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy right now. I'll wait. Good. You finished? Excellent. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Don't worry about the Hobbit ones. They're not as good. <laughs> I'll get some backlash for that. I, I think that's it, guys. I think that's it for this week. I think I think we got a nice build done there. Uh, and, yeah, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. I think this is going to be a really nice area, and I'm, I'm excited to be doing another village. So we'll do that. I won't necessarily stay in this skin for very much, um, but... Thank you for joining me. I, you guys know that I appreciate you so much. I love you all to death. You guys are the absolute best. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, please feel free to subscribe and like and comment and do all that stuff. Watch some of my other videos. Watch the Craftworks ones. Oh, the Craftworks people. We we have a Discord. I'll put a link in the um, in the description. We have a fan Discord. Lots of people in there. Lots of chats going on and stuff like that. Feel free to come along and uh, and join us and have a conversation. You might even get to talk to me. Isn't that exciting? I probably won't reply. <laughs> No, I will. I will. I love you all to death, remember? All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye.